Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. I'm out on a beach walk. It is beautiful. It is so fresh out here. It smells absolutely divine. The salt water is absolutely divine. The wind's on my face. It's not too chilly that I have to cover my ears, but it's like it's nice, it's really nice temperature out here. Freaking love it. Probably can't even see me, but oh well, we're gonna make do with what we've got. This feels so in alignment to me and what I do want to create more of is really stepping into this space, really providing you with value and, and a good time. So that's what I'm gonna continuously do. I view life with a very less seriousness mindset even though the things I do <laughs> sometimes <laughs> contradict that <laughs> because um, yeah I focus a lot on becoming present and creating more joy doing the work so then we can have more joy and presence in our life so actually doing the work and that is awesome but most of what I'm going to be sharing is a mix of both. It's going to be a mix of, you can have both. You can have it all. You can listen to Cardi B. You can listen to Hannah Montana. You can listen to Drake and also dive into the self discovery and exploration path. Like you can have both. There's no one way. It, there's no one way fits all. You're not trying to squeeze yourself into a box. I think that is prison. The nine to five life is a prison. If you don't enjoy your job and you're living a nine to five life, then my, like, I encourage you to start to zoom out, literally zoom out and find out what you actually are so passionate about. Yeah, to get out of that nine to five life and it could be the best nine to five life, right? Like you could wake up and want to actually go to work it's like you never work in a day in life when you do something that you actually love, that you actually enjoy going, that it doesn't feel like a chore. This is for everyone. Like, imagine if everyone just followed their gifts and created more of what they actually want in their life. So much more happiness would be around the place. More of a high vibration as well. You can still see the fucking stars. It feels like it's 3 a.m. <laughs> you can do all the shadow work, you can read all the books, you can listen to all the podcasts, invest in all these courses and masterminds and coaches and mentors and all that stuff. But if you're not actually creating joy and happiness and laughter in your life, then you're missing a huge chunk of the joy pie. And that is what life is, mate. That is what life is. It's like the joy, knowing that we are literally on a floating rock. And we can do that whatever the fuck we want, whatever makes us happy. You don't have to live that ordinary life. You don't have to go to uni, get a degree that you that your parents are forcing you to do. Like if there is outside noise that's driving the reason why you're in the field of work or anywhere really, I really invite you to ask yourself, is this actually what I want? And we're all gonna die soon. So you might as well just do whatever makes you happy. Be like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to do just what makes you happy and live a life every day that supports your highest self, your highest good of all. And you do something that you love and you're impacting people along the way. And that's just a bonus. Like the impacting people is just a bonus from doing what you love. It's just a, a reward from it. And same goes with money. Like. I'm getting into this mentality where it's not even about the money, it's the value that I can give people. And if money comes from that, epic. Like that is epic, obviously. Who wouldn't want money in their life? Money is literally amazing. Like if you don't have money, you literally can't live. You can't live without money. Like, yes, you can live on the street and sit at park benches all your life if you choose to do that by all means do so. The more money allows you, if you have this mindset, to help more people. 
to actually give more people value and you can invest that money into yourself. I feel like for me right now, I'm wanting just to gain more money so I can invest into myself, so I can invest into the people around me to provide more value, to provide more content and that is what I'm doing. And that is where my focus is right now. It's just connection. It's freedom. Freedom of choice. Yes. It is just beautiful. Like life is just absolutely beautiful. And you can have it all. We can have it all. I've got everything I need. And coming from this mentality for most of my life has really served me. Like I, I feel like I've always been quite a good manifester without even realizing it. Um, just for showing up and, and expressing who I am and knowing that there will always be judgments. People will always have something to say. Everyone will have something to say. And often, it's like you actually just have to block it out. You literally just have to block it out. And the ones that will actually support you, the people in your life that actually generally care, yes, they'll have something to say, but it's not going to be blocking it's not going to be low vibrational. It's, it's not going to be unsupported. They're going to be fucking lifting you up. They're, they're going to be wanting you to actually succeed and be the best versions of yourself. The people in your life that actually care. People's judgments, people's opinions are literally just projections. Themselves, their own judgments themselves onto you. It's like whenever you have a negative charge towards someone, just an unpleasant feeling towards something, that's technically a negative charge towards yourself as well. And it's been a huge realization for me because I've realized that I'm like, oh wow, I actually might have a couple of those in my life and it's time to sort it out. Like the time is now. If, if I want to forgive, if I want to choose to have more compassion and love in my heart, then the time is now to do so, right? To get better at it and get better at the less judgment towards self and coming back to home within myself. That's all it is. I just love people so much, mate. Like, we're all just trying our best. Well, most of us. Some people are lazy. Some people don't want to do the work. Some people just want to live in a victim mentality. But there's a lot of people out there that are actually giving it their go. They're trying their best. And that's epic. Whenever I see people going after what they want and taking ownership of their life and treating their body with love and care and respect, then I'm like, fuck yeah, man. Do do it because I know that it can be hard. It can be hard to consistently show up. It can be hard to, you know, choose that healthy option when your family or your friends may be not. And that's often another case of like, you know, am I in the right environment kind of vibes, but yeah. And taking full ownership of this is awesome. Yeah, this is just the, what I wanted to share this morning. Yeah. I just love coming on here. I feel alive when I'm coming on here. It's epic. And I feel like most people might just listen to this as like a podcast in their car or something. Because obviously, yes, you can see my face and I'm speaking on camera. But I feel like most people will just be like, hey, I'm going to plug this into my car and listen to it. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know, but it's it's fun, it's exciting, it's like this childlike um, excitement. I'm just gonna stop. This childlike excitement that I've got right now is epic and I feel like most of my life I've I've had that. But I feel a lot of people are missing in their life. You know, coming back to that joy, to what makes you happy at the end of the day. Like connection with your family, with your friends supporting each other to lift each other up and to create a life that you all freaking love everything else will follow when you're listening to your heart everything else will follow the universe will conspire god will conspire in your favor he will help you he will give you strength the universe will give you strength whatever you call it god universe source creation life force whatever you call it it doesn't matter it's all i feel like it's all the same it's all connected we're all connected the labels they don't really matter just feel into what feels true for you because at the end of the day 
That is all you can do is feeling into what feels true for you. And do more of it. Yeah, I can't believe how pitch black it still is. Like, I think it's about at least probably 6.10 now. And it's still, it is still pretty on oh, the sun. It comes over here, so it's like, might be coming up. Yes! Feeling of life. Oh, that's all. That's all.